Hello and welcome to X and Y Gaming Casually Competitive Impromptu Yu-Gi-Oh! Rapid Fire video after another. Woo! So in the last video, we made it through the first row here of all these decks. And I'm just going to try to go through, sequentially speaking, uh, until we get to what is now fast becoming my favorite. I just, I like the Warrior deck. But uh, we're going to go here... In, in a bit of sequential order. And we're going to mosey on down to one of my favorite decks. I think I say that about every deck. Uh, Weevil Underwood's Hyper Metamorphosis. So for anyone who watched the anime, you'll be very familiar with the Weevil versus Joey duel. Uh, where Weevil sat there and used Petite Moth, Cocoon of Evolution and somehow kept his bug alive for several turns, it's, it's dumb. No one does that. Now in speed duels, man, it's 2019, son, we rapid turbo that out. Like, you're, you're going to be able to do this first turn if you're lucky. So Hyper Metamorphosis says, you take two cards, discard them, select a level two or lower bug that's normal, distribute it, and then, and then you, get, you get the perfect. Just, just rapid turbo. That's what it is. It's perfectly ultimate Great Moth Turbo. Uh, and you do that by running three Petite Moths. Uh, my favorite. Absolutely one of my favorite monsters in this deck. Three Basic Insects. We want a lot of normal monsters, and we'll get to why in a moment. And three Wing Cleaver, who is hilariously the second strongest monster in the entire deck. Uh, and we run one perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Some might say you run two. I think that's two too many. So there's three enchanting fitting rooms. So basically what we're trying to do is get at least one of these in the opening hand and get two, maybe three monsters off with this effect. I mean, I guess it's not like you're going to get four. Speed duels only have three. All right. Um, so the reason that Petite Moth is so good is because we're running two... Amulet of Ambition, which states you equip it to a normal bug. Is it a normal bug? Is it any normal? It's a normal monster. Any normal monster. You equip it to a normal monster, and you attack with it, and anything it battles, I guess it can be attacked. Anything it battles, if it has the monster it's battling has higher level than it, so let's say Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes White Dragon versus Petite Moth equipped with Amulet of Ambition. Blue Eyes has 3,000, or no, well, he does have 3,000 attack, but he has 8 stars, which means he has 7 more stars than Petite Moth. Petite Moth will gain 500 attack times the difference, which is, again, is 7. So it'll be 35 plus 3. So 3,800 versus the 3,000. Petite Moth can roll over a Blue Eyes with 800 damage to spare. And it's just... It's hilarious. It's my favorite. <laughs> Dark Factory of Mass Production, so that you can recycle some normal monsters back to your hand, uh, because this skill is not once per duel. It's just not. White Elephant's Gift, because you're hopefully going to get... Like I said, the goal is to get at least three monsters. You turn one of them into an ult ultimate Great Moth. Elephant's Gift him away the second for drawing two cards, and then use Amulet of Ambition the third to help perfectly ultimate Great Moth run over stuff. Uh, or to charge for destroying a monster, or to smash for destroying spell and trap cards, and Jar of Avarice for recycling your one perfectly ultimate Great Moth in the unfortunate and most likely inevitable event that he gets destroyed. Hopefully he doesn't get banished. But yeah. I mean. It's pretty. like Again. it's all, I could say this about literally every speed duel deck. But it, it's pretty straightforward. You just want to perfectly ultimate great moth turbo him out. And then use him to run over everything. Because like, he's got 3500 attack. Not even a blue eyes can stand up to that. But yeah. If you like the ultimate great moth as much as I do. And I do pretty like the ultimate great moth. Then be sure to like the video. Don't hesitate to tell me what you did or did not like about the video and 
in the comments section below. And don't ever forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hug your mama.